Today, I wanted to talk about baby step number four. So let's review all the baby steps so far. Baby step number one is, what is it? It is a thousand dollar emergency fund. Baby step number two is a the debt snowball. So that's paying off all your debts except your home. Baby step number three is a three to six month emergency fund. So, and then baby step number four, it's 15% of your household income into retirement. So let's just use an example, a number, say you make, say your household income is $4,000 a month. 15% of that money would go to retirement. So $600 of that would go first into like your company if it if your company had a um, match. Like typically it's anywhere from three to 6% that they match. Uh, or after that, then you wanna go into a Roth. Uh, because you don't pay taxes when you take that out. So, and I, I'm just gonna admit that I don't understand all the ins and outs of it, but I know that Dave Ramsey says being consistent is what builds long-term wealth. And you don't get caught up in trying to put your money in this stock or try to follow this fad because those are surefire ways to lose your money. So let's, do have a couple examples. So say your, your household income is $4,000 a month, you put $600 a month into that. So in 30 years, just pretend you made 12% money, 12% uh, return on that. In 30 years, that'd be $1.9 million. Even if it was 4%, that would be $420,000 in 30 years. Now, I understand that in 30 years, this money isn't going to be worth what it is. I gotcha. But in 30 years, our house would be paid for. Kids are gone. You don't have any debts. So even if you had $420,000 in retirement and it was making you 4% back every year, and, you're, and, and all those things were paid for and you already had a house, then you'd be okay. Like, you'd survive. And that's saying if you stopped working too. Nobody's saying you, you gotta stop working in 30 years. So yeah, that's baby step four. I mean, it's, if you can only afford to do $100 a month, that's better than nothing. Cause people put it off and they don't, they, I think the problem also is people don't know what's gonna be enough. So, but if you just sit down and say, hey, in 30 years, what if we just lived off? I mean, because what if you live off $60,000 a year now? In 30 years, what if you say, hey, let's just live off $60,000 a year then too? Like, you'd be okay with having $420,000 in 30 years and your house paid off and uh, no car loans or anything like that. I mean, you'd be fine. So let's just get busy on putting money away and saving it. And I mean, I can buy a new PS4 and buy all the cool camera equipment and all that, but really at the end of the day, I just want to have money for later too, because I don't want to have to worry about it. And it's, it stresses me out if we don't have any savings. Like if, if I don't have any goal for 30 years from now, 40, 50 years, then that just stresses me out. So baby step number four, 15% of your income into retirement. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will answer it. I'll see you next time.